Got a possible wanted person. Stop this car and ID who's in here. Hey, how are you? Is this your car, ma'am? Yes, sir. Okay. I'm David Baker with the Gwinnett County Sheriff's Office. The reason why I'm stopping you is there's someone associated with this car has a warrant. Okay. So do you have a driver's license? Sure sir, do you have your ID with you? The person's name is Miles, born in 1991. No idea who that is. I'm going to note my file so the next time it pops up, it'll have a note saying the person's not associated with does not know this person. The only other question I have for you, is there any marijuana in here? Because when I walked up the car, I smelled marijuana when I walked up here. Any weapons in the car? Firearms or anything like that? All right, both of y'all step out. Go ahead, turn around, put your hands behind your back. I just said it was right there. But when I asked you if there was any marijuana in the car, all right, you lied to me. Just set him in your car for now, and then maybe he'll get away with just a ticket and... Put her in handcuffs. Inside a sock appear to be some crack cocaine. Um, now I'm just now finding a, some more cocaine and a marijuana grinder. So this is getting more and more interesting as it, as it goes along here. Pretty big bag of cocaine. I haven't seen that much cocaine in a while. I just want to make sure there's nothing back in there. Nothing this. Oh. Is there a gun somewhere in the car? You don't have a gun on you, right? You have a gun on you right now? All right, here's what we're gonna do. Cause this is getting crazy. All right. It's one that he handed to you. Okay, turn around. It's in this pocket. Don't, don't reach for no, I'm not. a damn thing. No, I'm not. I'm telling you where it's at. It's in that pocket. He gave it to me before, before we got off the car. Okay. There's a firearm in the car and on your person where the whole time I've been standing you. I understand that. And I'm just now finding out I you got a gun? No, I'm You know how angry that makes me? I swear I was gonna tell you when you were done. When? When you were when done. When would have been the appropriate time to tell me, officer, I got a gun on me? I was going to tell you. I when? You I'm asking when. when I've been standing here talking to you for 15 minutes. Yes, sir, and I was gonna tell you to look in my right pocket. You had plenty of opportunity, ma'am, to tell me to look in your right front pocket. I know I did. Sorry. Plenty of opportunity. You had plenty of opportunity to tell that deputy right there who's been standing there watching you. And one in the chamber. That's a felony. Nothing makes a deputy more upset when you're talking to somebody and you're being polite with them and you're being calm with them, regardless of everything you found, and they're standing there with a freaking gun in their pocket. I'm sorry. I was going to tell you. I swear to God I was going to tell you. Who's all the drugs belong to? Everything belongs to me, sir. Everything belongs to you? Yes, sir. Nothing belongs to her. Okay. What about the gun? Okay. It's mine. It's yours. It ain't nothing hers. Everything that you found in the car is mine. Sir. Okay. Your husband's going to jail. Do you understand the severity of you having a firearm you on you? Something that can end my life? I understand. When I have no idea that you have it on you and get shot in the back or shot in the back of my head, and then my family's going to a funeral? And that was my fault. She finally admitted that she knew everything that was in the vehicle to include the firearm, which her husband passed off to her because he's a convicted felon. So she's going to re be released and um, go free. Uh, he's going to go to jail and be charged with the gun and the narcotics that we found. Could have been a very different situation tonight. Luckily, uh, everything turned out OK. We'll move on to the next thing.